I just had to get out to the woods today. I was going stir crazy, sitting around the apartment, just had to get outside. Uh, anymore, I don't feel good unless I'm outside. Maybe it's because I have an apartment with no balcony, no patio, no outdoors to speak of. I like to come out to the woods. It's the only time I really feel at home. But today I'm going to demonstrate a, um, a tarp that I have. <clears throat> I just bought it by AquaQuest. And um, I haven't set it up yet, but I'm going to try setting up a, a configuration that's like uh, something that you could use if there weren't poles or trees to use. Uh, configuration that's going to be experimental, but um, I'd better try something experimental. So here we go. We're going to try this out. How do you like my knife sheath? Pretty cool, huh? Yes, yeah, it's only $29.95 on Amazon. And it suspiciously looks like uh, a wash rag with a couple of twist ties tied around it. Huh. Yes, I'm just joking. That's what it is. It's a wash rag with a couple of twist ties. That's my knife sheath. Don't make fun of me. Okay, so this is my tarp. If you watch other bushcrafters on YouTube, you'll see that they all set up their tarps in about the same way. They run a ridge line, run a ridge line between two trees, drape the tarp over, and make sort of a lean-to configuration. What I had in mind, I was gonna experiment and try to create sort of a Quonset Hut wigwam configuration. I have some bungee cords and some tent stakes that I had in my car. And I cut a couple of weeds, a couple of green weeds. Didn't want to cut any saplings because I, I like trees. <laughs> I don't want to cut down any trees, but I'll, I'm going to try this out. I'm going to try to lash those two together and see what I can do. So far I have I've lashed a couple of weeds together. You got to get something that's supple, something that's not too dried out. Lash those two together to make a semi hoop. And I've got a guy line tied down to a tent peg here. So I'm making sort of a bivy tent configuration. And uh, I'll work on the back, see how that goes. Well, here's a little trick I wanted to show you. This tarp has attachment tabs. But if you don't have enough attachment tabs, you can just take a round rock, take a round rock, put it in your tarp, wrap a piece of cord around it, and use that as a tie point. Make sure it's a round rock, though, so you don't poke holes in your tarp. Okay, so we'll see what else I can do here. Well, this is what I ended up with. Sort of a bivy tent configuration. I ended up using a couple of shock cords, some bungee cords for the front and the back just to give me a little flexibility. I uh, cut a couple wooden stakes to use for tent poles on that side. And let's see inside. Here it is inside. See, it's pretty roomy. I used another hoop down at the other end. So I used a hoop at the far end and at the front. The back hoop I didn't lash to anything. I just used it for support. And the front loop, hoop rather, I lashed down and I'm using that bungee cord for support. Now this is a Aqua Quest tarp really nice tarp. Now if you're gonna make a hoop out of weeds or sticks make sure you cut off all the rough edges. You don't want to be poking holes in your tarp especially mine since it's brand new. But uh, I'm pretty happy with this setup. That would be a nice little setup. If you, um, The advantage I think is if you didn't have any trees to tie off to 
and you didn't want to just stick a pole in the ground and uh, set up something like that this is a just a different way you could do it and I'm pretty happy with it I think it turned out pretty good so there's the tools I used Here's my new AquaQuest tarp, which I'm very happy with. It's a medium size, I believe it's 8x10. But I'll leave a link to those in the description. Um, they're very lightweight, very flexible tarps. Totally waterproof, of course. I've got this uh, cheap little <laughs> hatchet I got it at Meyer. Uh, I didn't think it'd be good for anything, but it's good for knocking the nubs off of weeds okay that's about it and I have this knife that I found in the woods it's a Smith & Wesson survival knife and I use that for sharpening the tent stakes and that's about it well that's it for this video thanks for watching uh, maybe this is something you want to give a try you know try it out there are many different ways to set up tarps so this is just one of them I thought I'd try something different. And there it is. See you later. This is my new pack I got. Uh, I've only had it a few weeks. I'll be doing a full review on this in the future, but it's a day ruck made by the Hooden Wit Hidden Woodsman, okay? Not hooded woodsman, <laughs> hidden woodsman. Get it straight. Hidden woodsman, M E N. It's a very, very good pack. It's got a, I'll just go through some of the features real fast. It's got a axe loop there. There's the attachment. It's small. It's surprising how much stuff you can get into it. And it has attachment points, molly attachments on the front, on the top and the bottom. So you can attach a lot more. I've got a water bottle attachment there. But uh, nice suspension system. It's a very expensive pack, but it's a very good one. I'll do a review of that sometime in the future.